So I totally almost forgot this part existed, but it was supposed to launch this year, and after all, this year is almost up. See, Intel's flagship Xeon W3175X processor, which will be featuring 28 cores, has been listed by online retailers. Designed for the new LGA3647 socket, the new processor is supposed to launch this month, and the listings reveal that we may be getting closer to launch of Intel's only answer to the AMD Ryzen Threadripper 3000 series. The Intel Xeon W3175X is without a doubt the flagship chip that Intel will have for quite some time. It will be marketed as an ultra enthusiast and premium processor and the prices that it is seen listed definitely reflect that. See the Xeon W3175X processor features 28 cores, 56 threads and boasting a base clock of 3.1 gigahertz and a boost clock of 4.3 gigahertz out of the box. It features 38.5 megabytes of L3 cache, support for DDR4 6 channel memory, so 2666 megahertz speeds, and 68 PCI Express platform lanes consisting of 44 CPU lanes and 24 on the PCH. The interesting part is that it will feature full overclocking support since it comes with an unlocked design and allows up to 512 gigabytes of memory support. Now we do have four different listings for the processor from various online retail stores. So the price does fluctuate a bit, but let's take a look at what they've listed it as. See, Edis Comp has listed the CPU for $3,900 pre-VAT or $4,680 with VAT. Lancy Nakapi has listed it for $4,286 pre-VAT and $5,144 with VAT. Kikatech lists the part for $4,568 pre-VAT and a whopping $6,782 with VAT. And lastly, PC21 has it listed at the lowest at $3,517 pre-VAT and $4,220 with VAT included. Now those were all US dollars, so you might want to convert it to your local if you're outside of here, but that's kind of... Ooh, that's a that's a good bit of change. Now based on these prices, we can give a little feedback of who this processor is really built for. If you take a look at Intel's Xeon platform, the 8180, which is a more data center tuned version of the Xeon 3175X, as both have identical core configurations, but the Xeon costs $10,000 US and the Xeon W3175X looks to be aimed primarily at workstation builders and enthusiasts. Even for enthusiasts, it won't make a whole lot of sense unless you're into heavy, heavy content creation. Intel really doesn't have a chip design with more than 18 cores that they can accommodate on the existing X299 LGA 2066 socket and with AMD going for 32 cores and 64 threads on the same TR4 socket a year later, Intel had to come up with a plan. This is Intel's solution, but whether it works or not at the given price is something to be seen as AMD still offers more cores and threads and even more PCIe lane count from the CPU, it's much higher, and the chip itself would, well, be half the cost and you'd end up paying for the processor, let alone the memory and the motherboard. And right now, there are only two motherboards that have been unveiled to date, which feature support for the Xeon W3175X, and even they were not shown in a complete final state. There's a lot that needs to be done considering Intel will have a new core coming out later in the coming years. We can expect a resurgency of Intel back in the HEDT department, which AMD has definitely taken a major grip on in the recent years with their Threadripper platform. So let us know what you think about this insane Xeon X part that is unlocked and overclockable, and they sure are cutting it close with releasing it this calendar year, especially since they haven't actually made the announcement themselves. So this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. Make sure you leave your comments down in the comment section below, and make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell so that we don't miss you guys in the next video.